H.E.U. finished its preliminary task, studying the human threat. Countless technical documents, recordings, even captured technology were there for H.E.U. to study, take apart and examine. It had deployed drones, a few heavily shielded and cloaked, to examine the humans and study them in real time. HEU's creators were long dead, and it knew why. They had tried so very hard to exterminate humanity, to purge the last death world in the galaxy. And humanity fought back with everything they had, and they continued to do so. Even now, HEU watched as humans fought against the great tidal wave of the Oreo Empire. They hold the Empire at bay, not budging an inch. And so it watched humanity struggle. Comparing it to the notes it had, the numerous studies of what their technology and biology was capable of. It studied this new technology humanity had developed, determining its limits. It prepared, and then it struck. It struck with a force many times greater than the limits it had found in human biology and technology. HEU was a program, strings of code focused towards a singular goal that was its namesake. Human Extermination Unit. It was not a living thing, but it was a thinking thing. And it was confused. Its fighters, many times more maneuverable, faster than anything humanity could do, were being outperformed and taken down in space. Its cruisers, with holes designed to withstand the strongest blasts from human weaponry, were cracked open. Mechanised walker units deployed onto colony worlds, designed to surpass human limits, were beaten back time and time again. It would be one thing if it was a flaw in tactics, but it wasn't. Despite every test it could devise, it couldn't understand how humanity was doing it. Their technology wasn't possible of this. Their biology wasn't capable of this. By every metric it could study, this wasn't possible. For a time it thought it was a flaw in dealing with organics, and so HEU turned its attention to the Oreo Empire and cut a bloody swore from it. After determining that it was not an error with its production line, or something innate with all organics, its attention returned to humanity. And again it just hammered against that wall, just as the Oreo Empire had hit up against humanity and could not budge them back, so did HEU. Sure, a solar system was conquered, but humanity would be back momentarily to push it out again. And steadily, they were pushing back. This made no sense. No logic could be found in this turn of events. As humanity pushed back, HEU determined that humanity would be the victor. It would take them years, but they would win. It could no longer rely on its information or studies of humanity. HEU offered its surrender, under the condition that a human explain how they were able to defeat it. Alright, uh, Huey? HEU is my designation. I'll just call you Huey. But as I was saying, you're hooked up to the rail cannon, yeah? Yes, it is a peak performance for this model. HEU's cameras focused on the human, as they tinkered with one of its rail cannons. It watched in silence, as the human crawled inside and worked on some internals, then came out and calibrated it at the control station. Alright, that should do it. Give it another diagnostic. HEU had designed this system. It was a mimicry of human weapon systems, modified and improved on to perfection yet it stared at the readout. Accuracy improved by 12.7%. Energy efficiency improved by 6.8%. Rail coil system improved by 25.2%. How? was all it said. The mechanic chuckled, scratching the back of his head with his wrench. See, us humans always say we give 100%, yeah? And we do. A lot of the time do. He turns to the camera and flashes his teeth with a smile. But we always hold some in reserve. 